The film starts with promotion producer Anbarasu, R. Madhavan, who favours that his name is referenced in the truncation of A. Aras as opposed to his complete name, showing up at the Bhuvneshwar Air Terminal in Odisha, India. He is going to get onto a trip back to Chennai for his own wedding. Notwithstanding, he learns at the air terminal that his flight is dropped because of the awful climate in the state where weighty floods and heavy downpour because of the wet season have impacted air traffic. While sitting tight for additional declarations, Aras watches a TV insight about a psychological militant danger at an air terminal in Mumbai making him dubious when he sees a limping man conveying an old sack on his hands. He illuminates the specialists, who figure out that the man just has a cucumber in that sack and that's it. The man, a truly debilitated man named Nallashivam aka Nalla, Kamal Hassan, acquaints himself with Aras and the two of them get to know one another. Notwithstanding, Aras mistages Nallashivam, overlooking his recommendation and cordial colleague, bringing about a few funny occasion in the air terminal itself. Declarations are at last made that the flights wouldn't load up on that day and Aras should save place in adjacent lodgings to set up the evening. Aras understands that the five-star lodging that he was remaining in before is presently completely reserved, leaving him optionless. Nallashivam anyway assists him with finding a spot in a two-star lodging close by, in which both Nalla and Aras need to have a similar room. Aras' disdain of Nalla makes him act egotistically in attempting to dispose of Nalla yet at each point, Nalla helps him out which leaves Aras with crushing sadness. The following morning, Aras takes a taxi without waking Nalla to discover some way to Chennai. In any case, Aras understands that the floods have obstructed the majority of the streets and, surprisingly, the train station is covered by elevated degrees of water. He gets robbed by a criminal in the station who offers to assist Aras with his bags and loses all his cash. Nalla anyway comes to the station and assists Aras with holding the wallet, sas the cash. It is then uncovered that Nalla is an exchange unionist and is going with a really look at worth 30 lakh rupees to be conveyed to certain individuals subsequent to battling a legal disputes for a few association laborers. The silly and misconception occasion go on as the pair come to an alternate train station. There, Nalla chooses to recount the tale of his own past, However, a drained Aras nods off and leaves as he is going to start. The film then blazes to not many years back when a completely gorgeous Nalla acts in road theatres challenging the industrialization cycle which is underestimating workforce. He frequently causes problems because of this. Nalla is likewise a painter and an extremely skilled one at that. He is battling mostly against the town's greatest business mogul, the manipulative Kandasami Padaichi, Nassar, whom he satirically mirrors during a significant number of his shows. Notwithstanding, a fascinating new development sees Nalla and Kandasami's own girl Bala, Kiran Rathod, go gaga for one another. Understanding Kandasami's power would be a lot to handle to get together, Nalla and Bala choose to run off. Yet while Nalla is on a transport en route to meet Bala, the transport meets with a terrible mishap at a slope which leaves Nalla severely harmed, which in this manner drives him to be deadened. Bala is let by her dad know that Nalla is dead, while Nalla experiences feeling of inadequacy on his new, incapacitated look and starts pondering accomplishing social work nevertheless battling for association causes. Nalla is likewise displayed as a socialist devotee. The film gets back to introduce times, as Aras and Nalla load up the train for which they have been pausing, however as the train shows up, they get into a contention about socialism, Karl Marx, etc. Nalla charges Aras as a specialist for Western and rich control, 
while Aras guards himself and reprimands socialism overall, alluding that the Soviet association doesn't exist any longer. Nalla contends that the possibility of socialism wouldn't pass on. The contention turns warmed and delicate, making a touchy Aras punch Nalla. After at first looking quiet, Nalla punches Aras back much harder, making Aras drain. Thus, Aras deludes Nalla into purchasing water for himself and locks the train entryway, leaving Nalla abandoned. On the train, Aras meets a gorgeous corporate person who has similar interests as Aras, Yugi Setu, who requests that Aras discard a bunch of rolls Nalla provided for Aras and on second thought take his own whiskey offering. All as Aras awakens the following day, he understands that he has been conned once more and the corporate man is a criminal and has taken Aras' possessions. The train stops on the grounds that a train which went on the track before had a mishap and it must be cleared up first. There, Aras observes a large number of dead bodies and enduring individuals, making him endure inwardly. Shockingly, he meets Nalla again at the treatment camp close by. He is sorry to Nalla, who excuses him. Nalla suggests that he give blood to a withering kid needing stomach muscle blood, while Aras makes reference to that he is bloodsick. Nalla figures out how to persuade him at last and Aras gives. Aras additionally recovers his possessions as he observes that the cheat is likewise around the camp. Nalla suggests that Aras goes with him in an emergency vehicle which will convey the harmed kid while heading to Chennai. While on the excursion, the kid dies, at last making Aras cry as he calls God unreasonable for giving the kid trust as Aras blood and afterward remove his live. Nalla, who doesn't have faith in God remotely, tells Aras that Aras himself is God, that his tears after the kid bites the dust is the idea of God itself. Aras additionally finds some peace with utilizing his complete name Anbarasu, got from the full Tamil name Anbarasan, in a real sense ruler of adoration, a name he recently disdained under the explanation that he could do without Anbu, La. The two of them head out in a different direction in Chennai, yet Aras understands that Nalla's association check is with him and gets back to the location Nalla had given him. He understands that Nalla had deceived him beforehand when he told that he has a spouse and child named Sangu. The location is where harmed workers from Odisha camp while sitting tight for their legitimate assets, the cash battled for them by Nalla. Sangu is the name of Nalla's canine. Subsequent to giving the check, he goes to the close-by shop to meet Nalla and chastens him for not coming clean. He requests that Nalla accompany him for his marriage, yet Nalla says he will come later. In a close to home second, Aras recaps the tale of how his sibling kicked the bucket from an oddity mishap when he was youthful, a story he previously told to Nalla previously. He says that Nalla is his freshly discovered sibling and ought to remain with him as long as life grants. A plainly profound Nalla promptly acknowledges the greeting. Nonetheless, at the marriage, Nalla understands that the young lady Aras is going to wed Isbala. He makes a move to show up before Kandasami and undermine that he will remain on and cause Bala to acknowledge what a cheat her dad is except if Kandasami signs generally related reports for pay increase and rewards for his organization's workers. Forfeiting himself for the laborers, Nalla leaves after Kandasami signs, abandoning a letter for his sibling that he has missions to finish in this world, and that he'd prefer travel as a free bird than to be confined and tied at one specific spot. He expresses gratitude toward Aras for the love shown. Kandasami in the interim orders his right hand, Santana Bharti, to kill Nalla. As Nalla leaves, the associate methodologies and Nalla 
telling that he cannot battle like he used to do, is prepared to acknowledge demise. Nonetheless, the associate drops his weapon, sobs, and apologizes to Nalla. He lets Nalla know that since he did all the grimy work for his chief, the god has rebuffed him by removing his cherished girl from him. He lets Nalla know that he has done what's needed since, and doesn't have any desire to bear additional wrongdoings in the interest of his chief. He requests that Nalla leave, and that God will safeguard Nalla. Nalla disproves, saying that the associate himself is God. He expresses that there could be no more prominent God than to have the option to apologize and change a unique plan of killing. The film closes with Nalla leaving with his canine, Sangu.